Kevin Kwan, he wrote this book that became a worldwide sensation. It's not stereotypical Asians as you think. Ah. Hey. It's more about this kind of secret society that we're showing people. Such an important project. It's the first studio film with an all Asian cast, and it just doesn't get more important than that. It's a fantastical world, and it's nothing like any other world that you've seen before. When it comes to war, we dressed in jet black, but we don't want to hurt nobody. The story was really inspired first and foremost by my childhood, growing up in Singapore and sort of witnessing these things that children don't normally get to witness, you know, sort of being a fly on the wall at a house where there was a, a shark in the middle of the living room, and then moving to the States and having a very normal all-American childhood. What made the book so eminently readable was the incredible collections of personalities and his crazy rich detail of both character and environment. In the book, it says they work hard for their money, um, but they're successful. They even have a cousin in Hollywood who makes movies. Later, I found out that he was actually referring to me. Kevin Kwan actually used me as an example, which is really bizarre. It's like the Truman Show, bizarre. From the minute we read the book and decided to make it, we were thinking about, well, how do you cast this movie? I feel like I just walked onto the set of like a hip hop video. <laughs> There was always one choice for Rachel Chu in my mind, that was Constance Wu. Constance is a person where you could literally imagine her being Rachel, like before she was even cast. Rachel Chu is the character that I relate to most as an Asian American dealing with that sort of cultural identity struggle. She embodies that in a way, and she'd never been to Asia before. So actually going to Asia with her to shoot a movie, I thought was so great. I think the audience would feel the honest part of that. Rachel. I'm still the same Nick that I was in New York. Nick Young, that was our hardest role to find. We had auditioned hundreds and thousands of people all around the world. When word started getting around that they were casting for Crazy Rich Asians, this is the film that's gonna break boundaries for Asian actors. He's very sexually attractive. Peg Lin would like a spinoff where I just have, have sex, not even marry him, but we just make out a little, just a little bit. It's a worldwide cast of the best looking Asian actors, the most talented Asian actors, and the funniest, some of the funniest Asian actors. It's been fantastic because, you know, John has brought together an amazing cast from around the world. We are here on day, I have no idea, Crazy Rich Asians. All I know is we're shooting a really fun scene all day today. Sometimes when you're trying to say some serious things about culture and self-worth, you need to bring in some amazing, brilliant comedians to paint it in a way that's accessible. Ken Jong makes me laugh like I've never laughed. I think I've wasted like an hour worth of film breaking character and laughing at Ken Jong. Did you not know? Does she not know? Oh my God, Aquafina is just, she's a scene stealer. Where's the camera? Right there. Hi, how are you? As a performer, this movie is gonna be so important for my generation and for my community. To be a part of it is just, it's like incredible. There hasn't been a movie this important since the 90s, you know? It's gonna be a real groundbreaker in terms of getting rid of that Asian stereotype that we've, we've seen on the silver screen. <laughs> okay, good. This is the dream team. This is what we set out to do. We set out to create this dream team cast of the top Asian talent working in the business today, and I think we nailed it. This is Samsara Island. Well, this movie takes place in Singapore, so we wanted to shoot as much as we could in Singapore, and then we shot a lot of it in Malaysia as well. They really almost sort of like supercharged the book. It's one thing to write a book and to really describe a party or describe a scene, and you're, you have 30 pages to really create this world. In a movie, you have a split second. People have to respond to it immediately. They have to see the money on the screen. We filmed in insane locations. We literally filmed in the Sultan of Malaysia's old house. My closet 
was the Sultan of Malaysia's closet. Isn't that crazy? You need to not look like Sebastian of the Little Mermaid. We didn't feel like we have to even act that much. The scenery was there, the grandiose setting was there, the extras like were all there for us to react to. I created a $50 million wedding in my book. And what John has brought to life on screen, I think is gonna be a $150 million wedding. Plenty of people can afford whatever they want, but can you make a beautiful tropical jungle in the middle of a church? The title really has to set a very high level of expectation. And everybody has done such a fantastic job of bringing that to life and uh, creating such amazing sets, filling it with these amazing characters. So frequently, Hollywood thinks that Asians are this one monolith. Like, there isn't a difference between Asian Asians and Asian Americans, or British Asians, or Australian Asians. And there's a difference, because there's a cultural difference. For example, I grew up in America, and so we have that type of culture in our system as well. And the fact that this movie really differentiates that is something that doesn't happen a lot. Everybody knew what was at stake, and sort of the pride of, of people being on the movie is just sublime. It's just, it supersedes that of anything. The world is getting smaller with the internet and information, and yet we all have to see similarities with each other to get along, to have sort of peace everywhere. I think this is the antidote to that, to be able to celebrate human beings in all their craziness and all their culture, wherever you come from.